Today's feel good food is a skinny fish pie and we've been joined by Gemma Kearney. How's it going? I'm very excited. Yeah? Hungry? Yeah. I've always wanted to jump inside a telly box and actually make <laughs> some food. So we're going to do a very simple skinny pie but the key here is it's low fat because we're going to make a sauce with skim milk. Yeah. Okay and then instead of loads of pastry on top we're just going to do enough just to get that crunch and amazingness but without excess. Mm -hmm. Okay and the salmon, the soy, the shiitake mushrooms, loads of flavour too. To start with the base of the... <laughs> Start with the base of the sauce, one wet shallot, the carrot and the clove of garlic. Is that part of the preparation? Evidently, just soak it just gently, just for a few seconds, really helps. It's a good luck ritual. As we were, one shallot, a carrot and a clove of garlic. We need to chop them all up. Oh wow, this is a good peeler. Your first cooking show then? Yes. But do you cook much at home? I'm all right, my boyfriend's a bit neurotic right. and he loves, he loves cooking shows, oh gosh. Uh, so he doesn't really let me, but I'm actually all, an all right cook. No one believes me because I'm quite scatty in life, but I'm all right. I'm not very good at measurements or anything precise. I just like music, wine, ingredients. That's the best way. <laughs> That's the best way. <laughs> good way to cook to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now with a carrot, yeah. if we can just cut that up in small chunks, I'll get rid of those bits for you. Now the radio show's quite, Early on a weekend morning. Yeah. Has this completely ruined your weekend night out? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm in mourning still, and it's nearly been a year. <laughs> no, I mean, what I like about weekends is that everywhere you go, people are in good moods. Yeah. There's a really special thing Something, about yeah. a weekend. I feel happy to be able to be on the radio whilst people are smiling. That's brilliant. Yeah, it feels good. So we can take the carrot, we need really quite Small. I'm going to put the shallot into the pan to start that cooking. So if you're working on a morning at the weekend, what do you get to eat? I mean, are you allowed to eat on the radio? No, and we're not allowed to eat in our new studios either. Really? Yeah, which is upsetting. What, what do you do? We have to like run outside into the corridor <laughs> and eat some of the breakfast that you've, that you've managed to get really quickly and then run back on do you air. Do a bit of a song? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how's that? Perfect. So all of our carrot can go in there, okay. along with your garlic, Jamie. Yep. So this is the base to our sauce. We need to cook it so they sweat down and become sort of soft and sweet. In the meantime, we can take a look at our pastry. Often fish pie has potato on top, heavy on carb. This is going to have pastry, which arguably is heavy in fat, but because it's a skinny fish pie, we're going to keep control about how much we put on. So, small pieces of pastry. It's the best bit. Everyone needs the crunch, but you can do a garnish of crunch, which keeps back the fat. So if we can cut a few of those out, maybe six or so, okay. and place them onto our tray. What would you say is a good sort of midweek meal? I really like making chicken. I love a jerk chicken. Oh, I love chicken. But instead of doing like thighs or wings or pieces, I jerk an entire chicken. A whole chicken. <laughs> Perfect, it's like yeah. spatchcock, so <laughs> open the whole thing out. Yeah, it's amazing. And I also have a, a signature dish called potato surprise. Dare I ask what the surprise is? <laughs> Well, just whatever's in the fridge, really. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to roll up the rest of this and put it away. But top tip to save the rest, if you now cut out loads more, you can pile them up in between layers of greaseproof paper and put them in the freezer, and then you can just grab them out as and when you need them. Okay, so nothing goes to waste. We can save that for another time. Okay. But these ones, we need to egg wash. So they go nice golden colour. So if you can just crack an egg into there. Oh, God. That wasn't very sexy. Nicely done. <laughs> No shell, that's always important. Okay. And then mix. Yeah, yeah. whisk it all up. And then okay. just paint a little bit of egg wash onto each of the pastry discs. That's going to go into the oven at 180 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes. So it'll go nice and golden on top and crispy. And we can use that to garnish our pie without excess fat. Now that the carrots have begun to soften, we can make a sauce around it. So what we're going to do is rather than make a bechamel sauce, traditionally flour, butter and then milk, yeah. we're going to cut out the butter because we've already got the oil in the pan, go straight in with the flour, mix that up and then if you can pour in our milk a little bit at a time, oh. that's fine for the moment and then what you need to do, move it until it's all combined and you've got a smooth paste again and then you can go with some more. Okay. Now what kind of food do you like to eat when you go out? Um, I'm really indulgent. Yeah. I like decadent food in wow. a way, like sort of extravagant heavy, probably the most expensive thing <laughs> on the menu. The food that you can't do at home? Yeah. Makes perfect yeah. sense. I mean, that's my kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of eating lots 
slowly. Keep going with the milk. We can go a bit more heavy now that we're starting to get a paste. And Jamie, over yeah. there, you can start to prep up all the other flavours that are going to go into our sauce. Okay. So we've got two salmon fillets. Yeah. Already been skinned and boned. Jamie, if you can chunk those up. Yeah. And Gemma, yeah. we've got some shiitake mushrooms. Okay, so we're also going to put soybeans and shiitake mushrooms. So a slight, almost Asian twist to okay. this pie. But again, if you can just slice those up. And have you been learning a lot? I have been learning them. a lot, actually. We'll see, uh, a couple of years ago, I knew absolutely nothing okay. about cooking. Nothing at all. I was phoning Ben on a daily basis. <laughs> what should I have for dinner? And <laughs> what should I have for lunch? And are Cocoa Pops okay for breakfast? <laughs> are they all right for breakfast? Apparently. So. Yeah, good, yeah, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. um, and since then, we've been cooking for a good couple of years now. Yeah. I'm starting to get a little bit better. I know which end of the knife to hold. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's how bad it was. <laughs> now, there's our sauce. It's thickened up. It's just as creamy and satisfying as one, but it's got skim milk, so much less fat. And now the time for the flavour. So if all of this can go into there, yep. along with a generous pinch of salt and pepper. Are we using salmon, then? Could we use other fish? You use whatever fish you like. White fish, you could put some shellfish in here. The important thing is, enough of it so you've got plenty of flavour and balance it out with colours. Okay, so we've got salmon, which is obviously quite pink. We're going to go for some soybeans as well, just defrosted. Loads of yeah. protein in there, loads of flavour. So that's everything in there. We'll let that bubble away for about five or six minutes just to cook the salmon. We don't want to overcook it. Yeah. We've got some potatoes bubbling away and our pasty tops, perfectly puffed up now. Leave those to cool down a little and then we can come back and serve our pie. Mm -hmm. Just to finish off the pie now, you can see how that fish has cooked out beautifully. Yeah. You want to just zest in some lemon and some fresh parsley, which I've just chopped up. Now, before we finish, I must ask you, yeah. who should I be listening to at the moment? Oh, good question. Uh, well, okay, so these two rappers recently got some beef, not as in literal beef that you eat, <laughs> that Ben teaches you how to cook. Right. <laughs> uh, they, they started to like beef each other. They got in a bit of a row okay. online. Um, but they're both pretty damn good. Okay. One's called Angel Hayes. Angel Hayes. And the other one is called Azealia Banks. Azealia which Banks. You I've might... heard of Azealia Banks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She had the 212, which is a yes. big old tune in the summer. Yeah. But they're both pretty raw. They're both pretty, like, fierce. Could I get into an argument on Twitter with them? <laughs> Do you know what? I really wouldn't advise you. <laughs> 140 characters isn't enough. <laughs> Stick to the real beef. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Our finishing touches, we've got our potatoes there. We've just cast in a little bit of salt, pepper and olive oil. So I just took ownership. I was just like, right, that's mine now. My pie. <laughs> and then fill up our pie dish. And then obviously no pie is pie without a pastry top. So now we can just be very, very dainty oh. with our crunch, oh. which keeps the fat back, but we've still got plenty of flavour. So there it is, our skinny fish pie. I think the only thing left to do Eat is it. for you to taste it and tell us what you think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So dig in. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Go for it. So ready for this. Mm. Really good. Good? Still loads yeah. of flavour? Delicious. I really like that. Oh my god. That is yes. good. Mm. I like the beans, because you don't usually get those yeah. in the fish pie. No, packing it full of protein, but keeping out all of the fat. And so good to know that it's kind of healthy. Does that mean I can have double the size portion? You can. <laughs> <laughs> this is skinny fish pie, so we just serve twice yeah, as much. Yeah, right, I'll have two of these then, please. <laughs> High five, boys. Mm. Perfect. Well, thank you very mm. much for coming down. Oh, yeah, thanks. Can I come again? You can come back anytime you want. <laughs> Cook more feel good food. If you want more feel good food, then subscribe to Body Talk. And if you want the full recipe and ingredients for this dish, then make sure you head to sortedfood.com. <laughs> and the finishing touches of some cress as well for the pepperiness. And that's it, the dish is done. All that's left to do is taste it. Fantastic. Tell us what you think. Does it taste as good as it looks? Try and keep me away. <laughs> I need to get a nut. Bit of everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Doesn't get any better for me, really. That's incredible. Mm. Flavour combos are there. The gnocchi is slightly different to what I've had before, because I think I've only ever had it boiled. 